Hello and welcome to the field tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create splines like these. Yeah. Distorted, unsmooth, wavy splines, and yeah. <clears throat> Let's start off by looking at an example of just common basic splines. So you've got them, you know, they look linear, like always. And yeah, we want to turn them a bit unsmooth. So just go up here, hold left click on this thingy here and get a formula effect around. Drag this into your null object. And then you'll notice that your splines look kind of weird and they wiggle and they do stuff, you know, they move. And yeah, we don't want that. <clears throat> so first turn down, down or up, I don't know. This number, you can do it for example to 0 0.1, 0 0.05 or whatever. You can turn it up as well, it's your choice. And then adapt the formula effector so it fits your spline. You can of course just play around a bit, you know, and see what looks good. This looks a bit crazy. And yeah, we got some tall splines here. I'm just gonna fix them that bit bigger. I'm gonna set this to 0 0.05. In the yeah, there you go, you have your distorted wavy splines. One thing you can do now is just go to a null object, select it, keyframe it at the start of your animation, or basically you only need to keyframe this angle or if you have horizontal splines you know from left to right you can keyframe the P angle so then go to the end of your spline animation which would be here in my case and do a full 360 rotation all right and now you've got your cool looking new splines ready that's basically it. I'm gonna show some other examples here, but it's not that important, so you can turn off the video now, but if you wanna look further into it, then let's go. One thing to notice is the splines. It's not important if the splines are quickly or not, if they're fast or if they're slow. So in this example I've used much faster splines and they still look basically the same so it works for every spline just keep in mind to move the keyframes from your null object back a bit so it fits already you all you don't have to make the formal effect like this you can just play around do something crazy i just go with this because i think it looks pretty good so now we got that out of, way, out of the way, let's look at this example. Here I've used a cloner to cl create multiple splines and you see they work just the same as the other ones. I didn't rotate on the object in this case but you can do that as well. And yeah, that's basically it. It's nothing hard really. So cloner works just as well and the last example is basically the same as the first one just now from left to right in this case just see what happens if we turn the formal effector up maybe something crazy like one well that's a bit too crazy yeah and yeah, just experiment a bit, try stuff out, and I'm sure you're gonna get some nice results out. I'm gonna link a download to this file in the description if you want to look at it by yourself. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and goodbye.